Now we're basically going to put everything together. So now we're going we're to do is we're going to graph polynomial functions. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to determine the end behavior of our graphs. And just a reminder, this is based on the degree and leading coefficient of our polynomial. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to find the zeros and their multiplicities. So we're going to use that concept of multiplicities to help us figure out what happens at those x-intercepts. Uh, after that, we're going to find our y-intercept by plugging in uh, 0 into our function. And then number four, we're going to test for symmetry. Uh, so this was a couple couple sections ago. Just so, just a reminder, you're going to plug in negative x. If you get the same thing as the original function, then it's even or symmetric about the y-axis. If you plug in negative x and you get the opposite of the original function, then it's going to be odd or symmetric about the origin. We can also look at the function sometimes if it's written polynomial form and look at the degrees to see if, uh, if that will help us with our symmetry. And lastly, we're going to plug in other points to find the shape of the graph. So let's see if we can't try to work on one. Here's our example, f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. So again, first thing we do is we're going to determine the end behavior. So we're going to find the degree of our polynomial. In this case, our degree is 4. Uh, that, of course, helps us because it is even. Our leading coefficient is what we're going to try to find next. Our leading coefficient, because it's written in standard form, uh, or general form, I guess, the leading coefficient will be 1. And for us, that's positive. And what that tells us about our graph, since it's even, both the sides will either go up or down. And since it's positive, both the left and right side will end up going up in this case. So that's going to help us out a little bit when we're trying to find the shape of our graph. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate the zeros. So I'm going to set it equal to zero and see if we can't figure out what our zeros might be. Uh, I always go to try to factor. Uh, you could, in a problem like this, try to come up with some other method. We've factored uh, quadratic and form polynomials before. So x squared and then two numbers that will multiply to give me 1, they'll add to give me negative 2. So x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 1. Both those are factorable, so they're both difference of squares. x plus 1, x minus 1 x plus 1, x minus 1. Remember, there is no sum of squares, so if 1 was x squared uh, plus 1, you could not factor it. So the zeros we're going to find in this case, you'll get x to be equal to 1, which has a multiplicity of 2, and x to be equal to negative 1, which also has a multiplicity of 2. So we've found four zeros, which is how many we were supposed to based on the degree of our polynomial. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to figure out what our y-intercept is. So we'll plug in f of 0 which will give us 0 uh, minus 0 plus 1. So f of 0 will give us 1. And the last thing we'll do is we'll check for symmetry. As you can see, um, the first term in our polynomial has a degree of 4, the second term has a degree of 2, and the last one has a degree of uh, 0. So therefore, we have an even function. And what that tells us is that this, this is symmetric about the y-axis. And the reason this helps us is because it'll allow us to plug in basically half the points and get twice, or some points to get twice the information. So let's see if we can't use that information to help us graph. First thing we're going to do is we're going to plot our two um, x-intercepts. So negative 1 and positive 1. We can also plug in our y-intercept, which is 0, comma 1. We know our end behavior of a graph. We also know, know the multiplicity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find some other function values to maybe help us out a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll find f of 2. Uh, going back, it's 2 to the fourth, and then minus 2 times 2 squared, and then plus 1, I believe. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 8, 16. We'll get us there. And that will be 4 times 2 is negative 8 plus 1. So when we do that, we'll basically, that'll be 8, so we'll get 9. So f of 2 is 9. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, here's the way that symmetry helps us a little bit. If 2 gives us a value of 9, then negative 2 will also give us a value of 9. So let's see if we can't graph our thing. We already figured out the left and right hand side of our graph will go up, and it makes sense that those two values are way up there. We're going to approach our zeros from above the x-axis. They have an even multiplicity, so they're going to bounce off the x-axis. We know we have to cross that zero right there. 
This zero also has an even multiplicity, so it will bounce off the x-axis, and we'll go up and connect our dots. So that's the graph. Uh, we'll see here in the next sec second uh, what another example will look like.